बिस्मिल्लाम क्लास टेन आज बेटे हम लोग जो हैं वो पढ़ेंगे सबसे पहले चैप्टर नंबर वन बायो का गैसियस एक्सचेंज गैसियस एक्सचेंज वी ऑल ऑफ नो अबाउट द गैसेस इन के वट आर दीज द गैसेस विच एग्जिस्ट इन आवर बॉडी विच एग्जिस्ट इन आवर बॉडी एंड विच आर टेकन आउट इन द एनवायरमेंट सो सबसे पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट अवर चैप्टर गैसियस एक्सचेंज आंसर इज वेरी सिंपल वट आर गैसेस एक्सचेंज गैसेस एक्सचेंज आर दो गैसेस विच आर एग्जिस्ट इन अवर बॉडीज इन अवर बॉडीज एंड देन रिलीज इन द एनवायरमेंट सो द वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर टू यू दैट द गैसेज विच आर एग्जिस्ट इन अवर बॉडीज विच आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन अवर बॉडी एंड वेन दे आर रिलीज इन द एनवायरमेंट सो इट इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच द गैसेज विच आर प्रोड्यूस इन अवर बॉडी एंड वेन दे आर आउट इन अवर एनवायरमेंट this process is called gaseous exchange now gaseous exchange happened in, in two levels gaseous exchange happened in two levels one is called cellular respiration and the next one is called breathing as we all of know cellular respiration and breathing both are different things how they are different cellular respiration is happened at cell level while breathing is happened at organism level cellular respiration happened in cell level breathing is happened in organism level so what is the difference between do first we will discuss about cellular respiration we all of know how organism get the energy we all get the energy through food through in the form of organic food so when this food enters into body it make hydrogen and carbon compounds hydrogen and carbon compounds so when these carbon compounds are combined and when they are broken down they release energy in the environment they release energy in the environment and give us energy to our body and you also know about you also study about the atp molecule how do we get the energy we get energy when atp molecules are formed in our body means adenosine nine tri phosphate so cellular respiration happened at cell level and during this respiration when hydrogen and carbon compounds are combined and they are broken down at that time we get the energy but the process of breathing is totally different what is different it is happened in organism level in organism level the oxygen becomes the part of the body and carbon dioxide is released so cellular respiration and breathing they both are help in gaseous exchange but their process are different in breathing it happens at organism level 
in which oxygen becomes the part of the body and carbon dioxide is released but in cellular res respiration it happens at cell level and hydrogen and carbon molecules are formed which convert into ATP molecule and they give energy to our body then next is that okay, how gases exchange happen inside our body what is its mechanism but their mechanism is totally different what is its mechanism because we all of know we have two different living groups they are animals and plants they are animals and plants so what is the difference between two what is the difference between their mechanism animals have specific organs organs for example for example lungs trachea lungs trachea and other tubes but plants do not have any but plants do not have any specific organ don't have specific organs so how do they exchange gases in their body they exchange their bodies in different ways they have different ways mechanism of gaseous exchange in animals and plants is different in animals they have specific organs and for example they have lungs they have trachea and other tubes but plants they do not have specific organs so today first of all we discuss about gaseous exchange in plants okay how gases exchange in plants this is our today's topic gaseous exchange in plants in junior classes you all of study about that there are special holes on the surface of the leaf which are called stomata and they are responsible to gases in and out of the body but now in this chapter in this topic we will study plants can exchange gases through leaves we all of know leaves are the very important part of the plants so gases can be exchanged in plants through stomata lenticels stomata lenticels and mesophyll cells what are stomata stomata are present on the upper part of the leaf you can also understand with the help of diagram this is a part of leaf and there are special pores are present on it these pores are called stomata and mesophyll cells what are mesophyll cells mesophyll are actually air spaces air spaces among the leaves so they are also present on the surface of the leaf and they are called 
mesophyll cells so gases can enter in the body of the plant through stomata and they can also uh, enter into the body of plant through mesophyll cells now lenticels are uh, uh, lenticels some plants have woody stems so and lenticels are special pores present on on bark in which gases can in and out lenticels are special pores which are present on the bark of a tree in which gases can in and out so the concept that only stomata are responsible that is changed stomata also responsible they are present on the surface of the leaf stomata are open all day time and they are closed all night so the they are responsible to gases in and out of the body of a plant lenticels they are special pores which are present on bark in which gases can in and out and mesophyll cells they are also present on the surface of the leaf actually they they are bigger than stomata and they are air spaces so gases can also in and out through mesophyll cells now there are some woody stems now some there are woody stems so all woody stems have special pores which are called cuticle so these cuticles are responsible to change to exchange gases in and out of the body of a plant cuticle so next is that leaves have mesophyll cells so how plants make the food plants make the food plants make the food with the help of photosynthesis and we all of know what is photosynthesis in which plants get oxygen and light from the air and they absorb in their body they absorb carbon dioxide and sunlight from the environment and it becomes the part of the body now uh, when there is a uh, gaseous exchange happening through stomata so during this mechanism two functions are happened stomata then two functions are happen one function is called daytime function and second is called nighttime function first of all we discuss about the daytime function what is daytime function we all of know at daytime what did the plants do they do the photosynthesis and due to this reaction they release oxygen in the air now at due to that oxygen cellular respiration is happen in the body of a plant respiration is happen in the body of a plant and cellular respiration during cellular respiration carbon dioxide is produced so this is the daytime reaction but nighttime reaction is different it is different how is it different daytime reaction at daytime 
the photosynthesis happen and definitely we all of know photosynthesis happen due to cellular respiration sorry due to sunlight and due to photosynthesis after the reaction cellular respiration is happen but night time function is different why it is different because at night time there is no sunlight there is no cellular respiration so how plants get the energy for, for for its body so how they get the energy how they get the oxygen answer is very simple first of all they get oxygen from their environment and it will become the part of the body then cellular respiration will happen at night time plants will get oxygen from where from their environment and this oxygen will become the part of the plants body and then plants do the cellular respiration and due to this cellular respiration which thing will be produce carbon di oxide will be produce and again it will become the part of the environment this is a cycle of night time i explain to you again day time plants do the photosynthesis with the help of uh, sunlight with the help of uh, carbon dioxide they absorb carbon dioxide at day time and they release oxygen in the air so that's why it is said we should we should plant it more and more tree because they clean the environment after oxygen when oxygen is happen then cellular respiration is happen in cellular respiration we all of know it happened at the cell level and due to that carbon dioxide is released in the air so at night time what is happen definitely there is no photosynthesis process there is no sunlight so cellular there is no cellular respiration so how plants get the energy they get the energy from their environment this uh, in the form of oxygen and then this oxygen becomes a part of the plants and these plants do the cellular respiration and because of that carbon dioxide is produced and again it enters into the environment so this is the mechanism of uh, plants they uh, do the gaseous exchange in their body so this is very simple and when they have woody stems so they do the a uh, photo they do the gases and exchange through cuticle after that there are some other parts in the plant for example they have root hairs root hairs are also responsible for for gaseous exchange in plants root hairs are also responsible for gaseous exchange and we all of know we all plants have uh, roots uh, under the ground so they get uh, gases in and out through root hairs and there are some aquatic plants aquatic plants what are aquatic plants aquatic plants are those plants which lives in water so how do they get the energy they get the energy these plants get oxygen which is dissolved 
in water so these are the different ways through which plants get oxygen in and out of the body i hope you understand it now we will discuss this mechanism with the help of diagram a diagram of a leaf okay first of all we will discuss about the daytime reaction definitely what is happening at daytime so the sunlight shines on it when sunlight comes on the body of a plant then photosynthesis is happen definitely a chemical which is present which is called chlorophyll it do the photosynthesis so due to that they release oxygen in the air so which thing they release in the air oxygen and because of that cellular respiration is happened in the cells and due to cellular respiration carbon dioxide is produced this is called daytime reaction what is happen at night time so plants get oxygen from the environment oxygen from the environment and due to that what is happen cellular respiration is happen due to that cellular respiration is happened and due to this cellular respiration what is produced carbon dioxide is produced so where it will go it will again go into the environment so this is a cycle which all time works this is a cycle of night time i hope you understand it ke at day time plants get uh, sunlight and they uh, release oxygen in the air and due to that photosynthesis happen and we all of know ke photosynthesis is happen due to a chemical which is present in the leaves that is called chlorophyll and after that 
the cellular respiration is happened in the body of a plant and due because of cellular respiration carbon dioxide is produced i already told you cellular respiration okay, when it is happened in the animal cells atp molecule is formed and when atp molecule is broken it releases energy in the body this is a daytime reaction and this is a nighttime reaction okay, at night nighttime definitely there is no sunlight there is no photosynthesis so plants get oxygen from the environment from their surrounding and they do the cellular respiration and due to cellular respiration carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide again becomes the part of the environment so this is a mechanism of animal and plant cells and in this way they exchange gases in and out of the body today we have discussed the gases exchange in plants thank you